Big announcement from ChatGPT and OpenAI today as they released ChatGPT Canvas and some new features inside there, including number one, it being available to all ChatGPT users, even if you're on the free plan. And additionally, it can execute code. So for example, you can build your own tools directly inside here, along with your own charts, visualizations, etc. Basically, this is great. Number one for writing and number two for coding. What you used to have is ChatGPT Canvas as a drop down box, but now you can actually change it. So if you click on view tools and then select Canvas over here, additionally, it's super powerful for sharing information with your team. If you've got workflows between you, if you're creating SEO content, etc. Plus you can edit your content really quickly. Now what's also useful is you can flick between the version history. You can see how Python works inside Canvas, which I think will be really good for checking out because you can actually select between Canvas code execution. And here's the other thing. You can actually enable canvas inside your custom gpts which you could never do before so let's get straight into it if we say for example write an seo optimized blog and let me take a problem that works really well for us which is this one right here and we'll just run that you've got the actual content that's being written right here in the middle now this is super useful because for example you can now actually edit the content directly inside here without having to go back and forth with chat gpt or whatever ai you're using now, let's put this in perspective, for example, like you can choose writing styles in inside Claude, but you can't edit the content like a canvas. You can click on improve, you can click on explain. All right, so for example, we've got the content back from ChatGPT now, and then you can go in and you can edit it directly. So you can like change the words, for example, if we put, you can edit it. If you're actually like really quality control in your content, this is probably the easiest and fastest way to do it with AI directly because you've got it all right there. You can edit it manually if you want to, you can also share this with other people. You know, you could take this whole paragraph here, for example, and be like, right, okay, optimize this for semantics and entities and relevant LSIs around SEO, and that'll do its magic. The fact that this is free now is absolutely crazy because it's basically better than most AI SEO tools that you're gonna pay for out there. Now, also you can see right here on the right-hand side, you've got these other options. So for example, add emojis, you can change the reading level, add a final polish, you can adjust the length, suggest edits, etc. So if we click on suggest edits and then hit enter, this is essentially kind of like, you know, overtaking Grammarly in terms of how easy it is to edit the content, polish it up, improve it, etc. It's going to suggest edits kind of throughout the content. And you've basically got an AI editor directly for you and your content. But if we hit apply like so, that's now gonna add an extra layer and just polish your content up nicely. And you can easily figure out, okay, here's what I need to improve, et cetera. So you can easily automate the internal links for your website as well. So for example, if we go to the sitemap and I'll say, okay, insert some relevant internal links with relevant anchor text to these pages. And then, you know, you insert whatever internal links you wanna add throughout the content. If we click on made five edits like so, we can see where it's inserted the internal links throughout the content. That is a very neat and clean way of using AI. Here's another example. Like we can see in the FAQs, it's like, can I do SEO myself? Absolutely. And then it actually linked to the link I gave it from the sitemap. Now here's what's super interesting as well, right? So if you click on search a web inside ChatGPT Canvas, you can now search a web and find relevant external links that you can insert inside your content. You can automate the external links, find them using ChatGPT search, and then use ChatGPT canvas to insert those external links automatically through your content. And you can see we've found the relevant external links. Let's just check these actually work. Yeah, they do, happy days. And then what we can do now, we can copy these external links, then we can find a paragraph that we wanna insert the external links into. Just say, insert, these external links into our content. You can see the links directly to that page. As you can see right here, it's not hallucinated or anything like that. Now, if you're looking through the content, right? And you're like, all right, we've got 620 words. Maybe we want to hit a word count of, of 1000, etc. We can click on reading level and you can just crank this up if you want to, or you can simplify it if you want to as well. So if we simplify it to say middle school level, we can just make our content easier to understand which means that it's going to appeal to more people. And then also what you can do here is you can click on adjust the length and we can say, right, okay, I want this to be longer. So now we have 850 words. So it's added in like an extra 20 or 30% word count to the content without fluffing it up. Now we haven't even talked about coding yet. There's just so many features inside this that are absolutely amazing, but I wanted to show you that first because I think that's probably the most useful for you. 
Additionally, what you can see here on the show changes section is you can see all of the changes that you've made inside the content. And then additionally, you can roll back to previous versions, newer versions, and you can copy all the content and then plug that into your website too. You can copy it and then it's in markdown format. Now, if you want to preview this markdown format, you can plug it into markdownlivepreview.com. And then from there, you can see what it looks like in real time as a preview. And that's going to be much easier for you to preview than this stuff over here on the left hand side. What you can do is if you scroll down to your settings and customize chat GPT, you can select which features are on and which features are off by automatic. Super useful. So what happens if you want to code on this tool? How do you use that, etc.? Let's just start off with something basic like create an SEO cost calculator. And you can see that it will start to code a HTML file ready for us to go right here. And again, like you can highlight the content, you can edit it as you need to. So if you see any bugs in here, you can ask ChatGPT. Now, again, this has tools that are quite new inside here. So you've got an option for adding comments, adding logs, fixing bugs, porting to a language and also code room here. So you get PHP, C++, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, and Java. Now, if you want to actually execute the code, you port to a language, you would port to Python like this. If you're creating your own SEO tools or anything like that inside ChatGPT Canvas, the only language that you can execute is Python. If we hit run like so, it's going to give us this prompt. Now, I did just YOLO that and it, <laughs> it actually cut off my video. Just something to be aware of there. And we do have an error here. So we're going to click on fix bug. These are the sort of technical errors you don't see behind the scenes. If we hit run, you can see it says, welcome to the SEO cost calculator, total SEO cost. Doesn't seem to actually like preview the code. I'm going to say if I have a choice between Claude for previewing tools and using ChatGPT Canvas, I'm still going to go with Claude. If you look at the way you can interact with the website inside Claude, you can't edit the code directly, but you can preview it. You can test the functionality. Whereas in ChatGPT, you have the code, but the preview is not so great from what I can see so far. And then here as well, if you've got multiple canvases inside ChatGPT, like you see right here, we've got two inside this sync the chat. So if you want to flip back between two different canvases, so you can share the chat in public, which is great for adding your team, etc. Here's an example. So you can show people what you've created, what you mocked up, etc. All right. So final thing that I want to show you is basically you can create like your own custom GPTs using canvas. So for example, if we go to my GPTs and then from here, we're going to click on create a GPT. And then from here, you can select canvas inside your custom GPT to make it much easier to edit your content, right? Now, this is really powerful because now you've got like a whole new ARCO tool. And so you can create your own custom GPT where you can just go straight into creating that content inside the canvas based on your custom prompts. Now, if you want to edit an old GPT from here, if we select canvas, which is selected off by default on old GPTs, we can now update this. We'll hit update and now we can not only generate the content, but also quality control it in one single place, which is going to save a ton of time and also help you rank better because you're creating better content, right? So for example, if we hit get started, so we can pick up where we left off, but we also can open the canvas once we've generated the content. I'm going to say word count equals 1000 words. And if we say create the content in canvas, it will start creating that content inside the custom GPT directly inside canvas, right? And now you can see, you can just edit the content directly like canvas, except it's a custom GPT, nothing else, right? Now, if you want to get access to all the notes from today, including the about notes, a step-by-step -step SAP for using it for SEO, my best prompts, as you can see right here, and also all the prompts I mentioned today, along with 50 prompts for chat GPT canvas, including content writing, SEO keyword optimization, team collaboration, technical SEO automation and workflow enhancement, etc. What I'm going to do is I'll take the video notes from today. I'll plug that into my free AICO course, as you can see right here, and we'll add a new section called chat GPT canvas. Bear in mind, this is free for anyone watching to start using GPT canvas. The video notes are right there. You can get access to that for free inside the AICO success lab. Feel free to scan the QR code on this video or check the link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions you have, you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in LinkedIn, how to send SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching as always. Bye bye.